Ay, pero Kaloy, Ma. eto, nag-review ka ba? Mag-review? Ba oh? Bakit naman ako mag-review eh? Nagtatrabaho tayo dito. Eh kasi, tag-isa na naman ang talino ng top student mm. sa UH Quiz B! Yes! So, so yung mapapangalang naman tayo sa bilis ng pagsagot ng mga estudyante sa may hirap na questions. Always mahirap. Tama, tama. Sino kaya ang tatanghaling UH Quiz B champion? Alamin natin yan kina Miss Lina at kay Sean na nasa City of Mandaluyong Science High School. Uy, another Science High School! Ang dami! Siya. Hi, Miss Lynn! Senior High Edition sa City of Mandaluyong Science High School! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ano, wag natin patagalin pa. Pakilala yes. natin agad yung mga students natin. Go, Sean! These are two of the top students of Mandaluyong City Science High School. So first up, we have Matthew Allen Fernandez. Bronze medalist ng Thailand International Mathematical Olympiad. Silver medalist ng sa Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad. Grabe yeah. sa math to. Good luck sa iyo, Matthew. At eto naman ang kanyang makakatunggali, si Jonathan Talamayan. Third place for UP PMS Medical Convention. First place PSA Comic Strip Making. Yeah, and good luck, Jonathan and Matthew. Bukod sa kanila, syempre makakasama rin natin ang kanilang Master Teacher 1, si Sir Luther John K. Fernandez. Syempre, to verify the answers of the students. Yeah. Happy tayong lahat ngayon Happy dito sa, ano, ha? <laughs> sa high school. Okay, so Jonathan and Matthew, I want to hear. Pakitest naman ang iyong mga buzzers. Alright. Yeah, and there you Gumagana go. Gumagana naman. Gumagana sila. Pero bago tayo magtanong na ating first question, ano nga ba mapapanalo na nila, Sean? Ang winner natin mag-uwi ng 5,000 pesos. Wow! Habang ating second placer ay may 3,000 pesos naman. Oh, uh, ito yung easy round naman. So sa easy round, bawat uh, tamang uh, sagot na maibigay nila, merong 10 points. Okay, so ito na. Uumpisa na natin. para tayo ng points. The first question Kamay is... Kamay sa baba. Kamay sa baba. Anong cell organelles na makikita sa cytoplasm ang... Go ahead. Uh, I think ribosome. Ribosome. Ribosome is correct. Correct. Na ako tawo ni Alam na agad. Ayan na. Number two, ang triangle ay may perimeter na thirty. Ko ang dalawang side nito ay equal at ang third side ay three more than sa equal sides. Ano ang length ng third side? Okay, you can start computing with your pen and paper. Go ahead, Matthew. Uh, I think the third side po is 18. 18 is incorrect. incorrect. I'm sorry. Jonathan, you have a chance to steal if you want to use your pen and paper to uh, try to get the answer. Go ahead. Um, 19. 19 is incorrect. The answer is 12. But it's okay. Pwede pa tayo sa third question naman. Sino ang unang tao na nakapaglibot at nakapagpatunay na bilog ang mundo, Jonathan? Ferdinand Magellan. That is incorrect. I'm sorry. So, Matthew, if you want me to ask a question again, sino ang unang tao na nakapaglibot at nakapagpatunay na bilog ang mundo? We're counting three. down to three, two, two and Baka may guesses kayo. Baka, yeah. Wala? No guess? Okay, the actual answer is Juan Sebastian Elcano. Hey. Sebastian Alcat. Okay. Mo moving on to our fourth question. Ano ang SI unit ng luminosity? Jonathan? Candela. Candela is correct. At ito na ang ating fifth and final question for this easy round. The question is, ano ang mahalagang pangyayari na naganap okay. noong September 11? Yes, go. 9-11 terrorist attack. 9-11 terror attack is correct. Good one, Jonathan. That concludes our easy round. Aha. Sa ating pagbabalik, ito na difficult round na kung saan bawat tamang sagot, 50 points ka agad, so pwede pang humabol. Hmm, lalo na pang iinit ang laban, kaya tumutok na kayo sa morning show kung saan lang iuna ka, unang hirit! Ano partner, nakakamangha talaga yung talino ng mga estudyante oh, sa Science High School. Nakaka-inspire lang. Yes. Oh. At saka, malaman mo pa eh, stock knowledge yun. Walang review-review yun. Correct, review correct. Oh. Pero, 
eto na kaloy. Magkakaalaman na kung sino ang UH Quiz Beat Champion sa ating difficult round. Yes, no shortage ng bagong kaalaman. Ready na ulit ang students ng City of Mandaluyong Siang High School. Kaya Miss Lynn and Sean, let's go to the next round. Yes, hard level na, di ba? Good morning! Good morning, good morning! Nagbabalik ang UH Quiz Beat Senior High School Edition. Dito tayo sa City of Mandalu, yung Science High School. Ang ganda ng skwela nila dito, ha? At syempre, kanina, nagtagi sila ng galing si na Jonathan at Matthew. Kaya ito na ang points nila, di ba, Sean? Oh, konting recap lang. Si Jonathan is leading with 20 points, while si Matthew, may chance pang humabol with 10 points. May chance talaga dahil dito sa second round natin, which is the difficult round, 50 points per right answer. Okay, so you have 10 seconds each. Alright, para matap, ma mabigay sa amin ang tamang sagot. Kamay Now, sa baba, kamay boys. Kamay sa baba, eto na. Ang unang tanong, makinig. Sa Continental Drift Theory. Wow, yung pala. Agad. Alright, sige. Matthew. Ay, Matthew was first kanina. Matthew was first? Matthew was first? Uh, okay, sige. Actually, na okay. wala ko You don't know the answer. Alright, Jonathan, do you know the answer? Can I uh, see the question again? Alright, ang, ang tip ko lang sa inyo, huwag masyado mong madali, just wear, wait for the uh, actual question or read easy it lang. fast. Easy, easy lang. Easy, easy. Relax lang. Tayo okay, pare. so ulitin ba natin? Actually, the continental drift theory, an organism fossil ang makikita sa South America and Africa na may characteristic na aquatic fish catching reptile. Since they buzzed really early, they cannot answer anymore. However, the answer John. is Mesosaurus. Mesosaurus, All right. okay. Number so, relax, two. Relax, relax, guys, relax. Oh, you can use your pen and paper for this one. Alam mo yung mesos. Ano ang probability na makakuha ng sum na 7 o 11 kapag pair of fair dice ay hinagis? Again, ano ang probability na makakuha ng sum na 7 o 11 kapag ang pair of fair dice ay hinagis? You have 10 seconds to answer. It's 10, 9, 8. Matthew! Uh, I think two over nine. Two over nine is correct. That is correct. Oh, correct. correct. <laughs> At eto naman ang ating third question. Please remember to wait for my uh, me to finish, or at the very least finish reading it before you buzz. Eto ang tanong. Sino ang kilalang gumamit ng pahayag na Veni Vidi Vici upang ilarawan ang matagumpay na panalo sa laban? Go ahead, Jonathan. Um, Alexander of Rome. That is incorrect. I am sorry, Matthew. Would you like to? All right. So just to uh, finish the question, matagumpay na panalo sa labanan ng Zela noong 47 BC. The answer is Julius Caesar. All right. Okay. For the fourth question, once again, you can use your pen and paper for this one. Compute the value of sine of 75 degrees times sine of 15 degrees. Again, right. complete the value of sine 75 degrees times sine 15 degrees. Trying yan, guys, but now we have to start the clock at... 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Matthew? Um, guess lang po 2. 2 is incorrect. Jonathan, any guesses? Guess lang po, um, 90. That is incorrect. The correct answer is one fourth. One fourth. Okay, ito na ang final question. So, kamay sa baba. Sino ang pangunahing individual na layuning mahuli ng Oplan Exodus na isinagawa ng Special Action Force ng Philippine National Police noong Enero 25, 2015? Yes, Matthew. Uh, is it Marwan po? Marwan is correct. <laughs> Mukhang alam na natin kung sino nanalo. Pero medyo naging excited kasi sila sa pag-press uh, mm -hmm. ng buzzer. Masyadong but that's competitive fine. kasi. Oh, Ingit na nalaban. Right. But the scores are Matthew leading and the winner with 110 points. While si Jonathan naman ay my 20 points. That means Matthew is our UH Trinity champion for today. At Matthew will win 5,000 pesos. Or not, not we will has won 5,000 pesos. While Jonathan has won 3,000 pesos. Yeah, congratulations. Pero siyempre, bukod sa prizes na mula sa unang hirit, pinagkakaloob ang flat screen, smart Devon 50-inch UHD TV. Para makatulong sa pag-aaral, sir. 
Sir Luther, eto na po ang inyong TV. Alam po pananoorin natin? Unang hirit. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so yan. much. Thank you. Yan para sa mga paaralan. Sa paaralan siya, syempre sa estudyante ng City of Mandaluyong Science High School. There hmm. you go. Kaya naman ngayon, para lalo pa kayong tumalino, tumutok lang kayo sa Pamunsang Morning Show kung saan laging una ka, Unang hirit!